Jess, do you remember the days where you'd buy your local produce from your neighbour? No. You just go down and get it from the Woolwich. No. What about those days where you'd just walk down the local golf club, have a beer and grab some lunch? Nah. You'd just go up over to Vicky Point and go through the drive through McDonald's, Hungry Jack's. What about where you had a yard that was big enough you could play cricket and you didn't have to leave home? Oh, it would be pretty awesome, but you're not buying it to play cricket. You'd split it down the middle, have two blocks, sell them off, make some serious money out of that. Mate, there's too much been done to this home to split it. Like, they've got a fully renovated kitchen, all new carpets. Look, solar's been added, the roof's been repainted and pointed. You wouldn't split it, would you? Yeah, that's perfect that they've done that, actually, because the tenants will love it while they're there. We need them there for holding costs while it goes through the development. There's clearly a generational gap. But if someone's looking for a home with a humble lifestyle of yesteryear, or someone's looking for an opportunity to make some coins, who are they going to call? They're going to call us, aren't they? Yeah. They